Okay, so the first way we're going to do this is just by taking your iPhone and your iPhone charging cord and plugging it in with the other end connected to your laptop or uh, desktop computer. It then might say on your phone, do you trust this computer? You'll say yes, it'll let it connect, and then we're going to open up QuickTime. So hit go, and then applications, go down to QuickTime, it should already be installed. And then you'll see QuickTime up here, and you'll hit file and new movie recording. Now it won't let me open another one because this is actually already a movie recording over here, but this will pop up with your face on it from your built-in FaceTime camera. And then you'll go next to the recording button and you'll select your iPhone. Then of course your iPhone will pop up and it'll be mirrored on your screen. So anything you do on your iPhone is going to show up here. Uh, you can see too that if I go into the Safari app and turn it sideways, um, it'll then also mirror horizontally. So the only downside of this way is one, it has to be plugged in, and if it's plugged in, you can't do both a webcam and uh, mirror your iPhone at the same time. But you can do both ways if you're using AirPlay, and AirPlay is also wireless, so it's a little easier to use. So I'm going to show you how that works right now. Okay, so the next way we're going to do this is really cool because it's completely wireless and just uses the AirPlay from your iPhone to cast it onto the MacBook. Um, but we're going to need to download a program for this. So go to Safari or Chrome or whatever else you're going to use and search for a Reflector 3. That's what it's called. You'll see it pop up. It's on airsquirrels.com. And then it'll open up the website. Uh, you can browse whatever you want on here. And then click Try Free for 7 Days. If you want the full version permanently, it's going to cost $15, but it's honestly well worth it if you're going to use this more than one time. Select the operating system you're using, whether Mac or PC, um, and then it's going to let you download it. So I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to go to Go and Applications and select Reflector 3. If it'll let me, there we go. And it's going to be ready to receive now over here. So I'm going to go into my iPhone and pull down this control menu right here and click screen mirroring. It shows Steven's MacBook, so I'm going to open that up. And then it's going to give you this code to put in so it knows you're not just some random person trying to, you know, cast onto your screen. And just like that, I'm already connected. And anything I do on the iPhone, it's going to mirror on here. And there's a little bit of lag compared to plugging it in with the USB, but it's really not bad at all. If you go to Safari, you can do the same thing. If I turn my phone sideways, it's going to go sh sideways on the, uh, the MacBook. So it's really cool. Um, you can change the size of the display on here. You can move this wherever you want. And it's great for if you're doing what I'm doing and want to use the webcam uh, while making a video of maybe something you want to review or show uh, on your iPhone. So. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and uh, like and subscribe and feel free to watch any of my other videos. Thanks, guys.